students and faculty, this is Kelly Van Washanova from Educational Technology Services. This is the first video in a series of tutorials that will walk you through how to use Noble for your classes. We have them in an order, but feel free to skip around and jump to the videos that are important to you. Thanks for watching. Quick tip as you're getting started with these videos. We've tried to keep them all pretty short, but some of them are a little bit longer. So if you need to speed it up because I'm talking a little slow in them, go ahead and as you're watching them on YouTube, you can click the settings wheel and change the playback speed to whatever you're most comfortable with. You have my normal speed, which will take the full time shown in the video, but you can speed it up as high as two. And I speed up, my voice speeds up, but usually you can keep up. So go ahead and feel free to adjust that. Happy watching. Accessing Noble is pretty simple. You can start by going through My Denison and clicking on the NB icon in the top right corner. This will take you into Noble. Alternatively, you could also type in the URL bar of your browser, noble.denison.edu, and that will also load this page in Noble. When you go to Noteboll, the first page that loads is this All Bulletins page. All Bulletins will show you all of the bulletin posts from all of the courses, groups, and clubs that you are in. On the left here is the navigation. The first one is All Bulletins, and that is the default for where you go when you enter Noteboll. You can also click on Courses, Groups, Clubs, or Calendar. Up in the top right, you will see a little bell, and this is your notifications. You can also click on View All Notifications to go and see all of the notifications in any groups, clubs, and courses that you are in. You also will notice a icon in the top right corner. This is probably some kind of a gray happy face or something. We would encourage you to put a photo there so people can recognize you in Noteboll. If you click the arrow, you can see that you are signed in as yourself. You also see settings, help, and sign out. Go to your settings. In the settings, you can upload a profile photo by clicking on the little edit pencil and choosing upload photo from your computer. You can also choose a standard icon, but we really do encourage you to upload a photo of yourself. Also in the settings area, you will notice a tab for notifications. This is very important because this is how you choose to receive notifications from Noteboll. You might choose to only receive web notifications, and those are the ones that appear in the little bell up here. You could also choose email or push. Email will obviously send an email to your email address, your Denison email address. And push will push it to the mobile app if you have that installed on your phone. Right now, Noteboll only has an iOS app for Apple phones, but in the future, they do plan to develop one for Android.